there are several scholarships that um, are on the university website that I'm not sure a lot of people are aware of. So I just want to take us through the process. So if you're watching, you can do this at home by yourself and then you can take advantage of it and you know uh, see what it's like. So yes, let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so we're just gonna start straight from Google like, like every other normal person. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so you can just type in University of Manchester funding opportunity. So it just pops up like that. Then from them, you can tell that they have funded international students. It's funding for postgraduate research. That is the PGT, sorry, uh, PhD students. There's also the master's funding. So it depends on what you're looking for. So let, let's just start with the postgraduate research see what comes up so why why we really like uh, how it's arranged is because you know the subject area so you get to choose what you're actually interested in then you can put in your country so if you're from ghana like myself just put in ghana if you're looking to study say i don't know um what's here what do we have um, let's say cancer biology um so yeah so you see, whatever scholarship uh, or whatever scholarship opportunity that is attached to cancer biology pops up. So you can go over this, or you can just go for any subject area. Then it's going to pop up and show you. Okay, that was for the UK. Let me go back. Since you're, we're from Ghana, so it pops up like that. So all the scholarships that are available for Ghanaians at PGR level, postgraduate research level, they're all available here. Some of them have closed, obviously, you can tell from, from the screen here, but some of them are still open. So it, it really is like a one-stop shop for other scholarships as well. So the interesting thing is that they do not only really advertise the University of Manchester scholarships, there are other scholarships as, as well that are made available on this and it can give you the direct link. So uh, that's what I really like about this. Uh, if we can go back and let's see what it looks like if you're looking for a master's funding opportunity as well. So, yes. So from here, you can search for funding op opportunity. Yes. If you're from, I don't know, Tunisia, let's say any, all the scholarships available for, for candidates from Tunisia you can find them here. So it's, 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 that's what I really like about this because it gives you all the information that you need. So I should say this, not all, most of these scholarships, apart from GDI, I'm not sure the University of Manchester offers any full-time scholarship. Maybe Kwame and, and the others can, can help us. Let me stop sharing now and speak. Uh, I'm not sure the University of Manchester offers any full-time scholarships apart from GDI for international students. So if you are someone who maybe applies for GDI and you do not get it, but you have some funding available, don't let that stop you. Still apply, look, to the web, look on, the, on the website, check out other funding. Sometimes they provide as much as um, 6,000 pounds for you. So, I mean, half a loaf is better than none, right? So yeah. that, that's, that's really how you can go about it. So, yeah. I mean, that's, that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, yeah. But if you're someone who is really interested in development uh, related programs, then GDI is your best shot. Uh, but like I said, if this year in particular, GDI is really, really competitive. It's just three seats available. And mm. that is for all Ghanaian and Kenyan students as well. So you can imagine how tough it's going to be. Um, so if, if you're unfortunate and you, you do not get access to the GDI scholarship, please make sure you check out other uh, partial funding if you have some funding available. So yeah, that's, that's what we have uh, currently. I think the latest one, they, they call it the Global Future Scholarship. Uh, that is a partial one and they are offering 10 scholarships of, of 6,000 pound value. So that is what is available for all, I believe African students. So the, uh, the University of Manchester has a different approach. So they have East Asian scholarship, they have African scholarships, they have uh, you know different parts of the world. And they offer scholarships to different parts of the world. Uh, so if you're particularly from Africa and you're watching this, and you like I say you do not get access to GDI, please check out the partial uh, funding, and I'll 
drop in the link and you, you can check it out. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much, Anafidi. I think someone is asking for the link. So yeah, I'll just uh, put the link in there. But I think this is a very big explanation. And everything as we, we said starts from Google. You can just Google it out. And obviously, um, you, would, you would see the opportunities. I think I saw one great scholarship even in the list. And I think that that's also giving um, some quite, I think, full tuition, if I, if, I, if I may ask. And yeah, I think that we'll talk a bit more about that as well. Um, but uh, I've ever posted on the yeah. Young Graduate page on great scholarship. And I think it's, it's, it's somewhat, um, um, both, both universities, I think it's, it's somewhat like the Commonwealth shared anyways, I think, because they give free institution and the institution gives um, uh, another uh, like amount to your living expenses.